Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I live at the intersection of Stunning Avenue and Brave Boulevard. So I, for one, truly support the narrative that is floating around Twitter and that many of you have sent me. Now, to me, when I first saw these headlines, I knew for sure this was just bait. But then I decided, wasn't well, it funny? Isn't it just fun to also take a look at the bait and still make fun of it? I mean, look, Sonic is a complicated hedgehog from a distant universe. We can't really understand the complexities of who or even what he's interested in, in terms of how he likes to spend his time in the hedgehog bedroom. But uh, website has been uh, postulating what they think Sonic would like to do in the bedroom, and it's a dude. And not just that he should be doing that, but eventually will come out of the closet. That's right, the gamer reports why we think Sonic should, parentheses, and will be gay. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, um, I'm pretty sure that, like, canonically, or in terms of lore, Sonic has a girlfriend. And in fact, you would be right. He does have a girlfriend, and Sonic's girlfriend's name is Amy Rose. This is very easily searchable here. It's been around in comics for a very long time. You can see Sonic the Hedgehog and Amy Rose. But that doesn't matter, because history likes to get rewritten. Now, I know that the Woke Brigade will see this video like they do when I do videos on She-Ra and get ultra defensive and say, oh, that Jeremy, he's a bigot, he has a problem. No, I don't have a problem with it. This is just a hilarious example of pushing a narrative that, that some people would say is totally not happening. We're just all crazy. You're crazy. Nobody's pushing for that kind of thing. Sonic the Hedgehog has a history of romance, though he's never been all that interested in women. Sonic should become an LGBTQ icon. Oh, it's stunning and brave. I agree. As Sonic spins his way into cinemas, we found ourselves thinking about the things we still don't know about him. Despite the fact that Sonic has been in our games and in our hearts for almost 30 years, there's still a lot we haven't been told about the ring-collecting blue blur, such as his preferences. But, I mean, I just showed you that... We know that he has a girlfriend named Amy Rose. I mean, this is uh, also, there's also lore around Sonic's wife being Queen Sally Acorn. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know, uh, you know, that's of course the wife of King Sonic. I suppose that's probably that. But again, Amy Rose is a pink hedgehog and Sonic's self-proclaimed girlfriend. He's never been that interested in Amy. Over the years, Amy Rose has made it her mission to beg Sonic as a husband. She considers herself his girlfriend, chasing him through the games, keeping him safe. However, we propose that she's always been far more into him than he's into her. Sonic clearly cares about her, but he often flinches or moves away when she displays overt romantic affection for him. Well, maybe Sonic's just not interested in you know, maybe Sonic's young. I, I forget. Um, what is Sonic's age? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. He's 29. Okay, allegedly. Um, you know, I suppose it depends, you know, in terms of what part of the lore you're looking at. So, I mean, he should be out there, I suppose, by now. Uh, you know, he also seems ambivalent at best towards the charms of another woman, Rogue. Despite her having a more dangerous side that contrasts Amy Rose, Sonic still remains uninterested. So if he isn't interested in two females, he must be gay. Or in fact, well, he just must be gay anyway, because everything in children's cartoons needs to be about who they sleep with. Sonic and Tails could become more than friends. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me read this, and then we're going to take a look at something that I think is probably pretty important. Sonic's natural chemistry with Amy... I thought he didn't have any natural chemistry 
with Amy to be a one-sided romantic dynam dynamic has a relationship with Tails is something else entirely. Tails is the boy next door and sweet. Uh, he's a happy fox who brings joy to Sonic whenever he's around. Sonic's childhood friend perfectly compliments him both in personality and action. Now, this coming from... Now, obviously, maybe the, this article is just satire, and that's possible. Um, and, and my response to it could then also be satire. But isn't it funny how every relationship, if you look at modern-day comic books, has to be romantic? Like, two guys can't just be friends. Two females just can't be friends. If you don't believe me, look at any modern-day woke Marvel comic. They eventually are in a, some sort of romantic relationship. Friendship doesn't exist to weirdos. The pair have a natural rapport and chemistry together effortlessly, seemingly to know what the other wants and needs. While Amy is very much a follower, Tails is very much a partner. This begs the question, why not take, take it to the less, next level? Okay, well, how about this? Tails is like five years old and Sonic is 30. Okay, if you want to get into that, Tails age. He's eight. Uh-oh, I think you just did a stereotype. Oopsie doopsie poopsie. I digress. Tails also has the advantage of being more universally adored partner to Sonic, especially in the games, than Amy, who many find annoying. While she's simply... Uh, while she's simpering and swooning, Tails is protecting and helping. He also has a lot of chemistry with Knuckles. Again, another male character whom he is friends with, then must take that to the bedroom. When talking about Sonic's relationship, it would be remiss of us not to bring up Knuckles, heh, <laughs> Knuckles, whose banter with Sonic lends itself perfectly to his sexually charged homoerotic adversarial relationship. In what world? In what world? Now, this joke, this article has to be a joke. And it would be impossible to take seriously if this isn't the ex if this wasn't the exact sort of dreck that modern day comics and modern day woke culture is look you want if you want to have a a gay video game character make one make one sonic is established as straight all right and by the way nobody cares we could see this tension causing some issue between Tails and Sonic as well, who's eight years old, with some rivalry for Sonic's attention. Overall, the relationship Sonic has with Tails and Knuckles plays out perfectly with a romantic element, arguably much better than he's just not that into you dynamic between Sonic and Amy Rose. Gay is the way. These days, there is, quite frankly, a lot of discussion regarding representation in gaming. The LGBTQ plus community is still largely underrepresented in presentation uh, in relationships as every bit as normal, valid, and fulfilling as hetero ones in vital combating bigotry and homophobia. Okay, the percentage of, I don't even want, these people don't care about math, all right? These people don't care about math. And again, Again, make your own character. Why don't you do that? And by the way, isn't the main character from The Last of Us one of the biggest video games uh, in the last few years gay? I I'm pretty sure. Um, I I I'm sure that these people always act like it's never enough. It's never enough. And it's funny because it goes on to point out what we already know. A much-loved icon such as Sonic could do great things for the community, which sadly still faces persecution and bullying. Not in America. Not in any real significant percentages in America. You want to talk about going over to Egypt? Okay, we'll talk. Um, it, it, it's no longer stunning and brave to come out. You know, a lot of this younger generation, they just don't care about what the old heads did to pave the way for them. And they're out there still acting like it's hard to be gay. Uh, I just, you know, it's just not the case for the overwhelming majority of the community. Uh, the article also finishes out. Also, from another viewpoint, it would make incredible headlines. Sega is surely missing out on free publicity by not following a path that is so clearly laid out for it. Now, obviously, this article has to be a joke. All right, Helen Ashcroft. It has to be. But here's the thing. If it isn't, 
Yeah, go ahead and do it, Sonic. Do it. See what kind of headlines you get. Because in it's funny, this article literally points out that gay baiting is a thing. That using it as headlines for free publicity is a thing. It's a careful, it's an interesting admission, isn't it? Because this is something we've always talked about. How Overwatch and Blizzard likes to just throw the the band-aid, the rainbow band-aid over every every PR disaster that they have. Uh, and how articles like um, uh, Birds of Prey we saw, you know, when the marketing looked like it was stalling out, what did they do? What did they do? They're like, well, actually, uh, the main villain of this character, the Black Mask, happens to like dudes. Uh, it's like the inter, you know, literally nobody, nobody, the villain in Birds of Prey likes dudes. Uh, we see this happen in society all the time and nobody cares. And when you call it out, you get called all sorts of horrible names. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that this, this article was a uh, satire. And if it wasn't, then uh, you've got some questions to answer about hooking a 29-year-old Sonic up with an 8-year-old Tails. If we want to get serious, if it's a serious article and you want to go down that road, what I want to know is why the Gamer.com appears to be promoting... Mm, I mean, I don't want to say the word, but I think you all know the word. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.